So to the question of uh, PR and marketing professionals and communicators being awash in data, but not really doing anything with it and pulling a bunch of numbers together into a report and hoping that somebody does something useful with the information. Is it a fear of numbers? Is it a lack of time? Is it a lack of training? It's a bit of all of them, but principally it is the lack of training. Data, there's an expression that was coined in 2006. I'm trying to remember by who, but the expression is data is the new oil. And it's not a bad analogy because when you think about it, oil crude oil is useless right it is smelly it stains everything and burns makes sort of a fetid black smoke it's not much fun um and you can't really do anything with it you have to take crude oil and refine it process it distribute it to consumers that can use it and put it into action and oh by the way probably uh destroy the environment in doing it so obviously we want we're looking for new energy sources and data's not much different when you think about it, other than, you know, not directly polluting. Um, but data exists in all these corporate databases and all these corporate storehouses. So you need to extract that data. You need to clean it. You need to refine it. You need to transform it. You need to process it. You need to analyze it, derive insights from it. And then you need to take those insights and deliver them to people who can do something with them to turn them into useful actions. And like I said, the amount of data that's being processed and the electricity it consumes has an environmental impact. So how do marketers and communicators get better at this? Um, it is, some of it is probably fear of numbers, um, and that is being remediated by technology to a great extent. I was just at IBM Think, uh, their big technology conference, and saw machine learning and artificial intelligence systems that were literal drag and drop. It was like putting little Legos together and, you know, building programming, so no fear of coding and stuff like that anymore as these systems become more and more friendly uh, they will become more and more democratized everybody will be able to put together the pieces if they have the aptitude and the attitude and the aptitude doesn't mean being able to code anymore now it means being interested in working with the tools and the willingness to learn something new and i think that's probably the heart of uh, some of the issues people not being willing to learn something new or not knowing where to start. Where do you begin this analytics journey? Uh, one of the best resources for just getting started out is the Google Analytics Academy. If you go to analyticsacademy.withgoogle.com, there's a ton of training courses. They're all totally free of cost. And they are a great place to start your analytics journey because you get to learn with a, a set of tools that is industry standard. And you get to really practice applying uh, the, the knowledge as you get it. Uh, you can use Google's demo account, for example, and so you get real data, real good quality, clean data, and learn this stuff. The other thing is a lack of time. I think certainly, certainly in the agency world, I think that definitely applies. Uh, I worked in the agency world for over five years, and yeah, you if you did not prioritize making the time, if you did not carve out an extra half hour every day, uh, come in a little early or stay a little late or work from home, but if you didn't make investing in your own career and your own knowledge base a priority, um, you didn't move ahead. You didn't grow. And I don't know if that's something that organizations can do. I mean, they can certainly provide the time or tell you to take the time, but it is up to the person. Going back to the aptitude and attitude, that is really important that th everybody who wants their career to grow is willing to invest the time and effort needed to learn new things. Um, my friend Ann Handley uh, said it best, get comfortable being uncomfortable because when you learn these things, when you, when you embark on some of these things, it, it can be bewildering. It can be humbling. Uh, you feel like you're a beginner all over again. And that can be tough for a lot of folks, particularly if they've achieved some level of success in their career, to go back to the beginning and go, wow, I'm... It's like going into the martial arts school and putting on the old white belt again. And, and, and if you're not okay with that, it can be an obstacle. So I would say uh, the characteristics that would make somebody successful in this is that humility, that willingness to say, yep, I volunteer to be the, the new person again. Um, some self-awareness, knowing what you're good at, what you're not good at, and what and, and being okay with being uncomfortable. And the dedication the willingness to make the time for it. And so I think those are the things that will make 
uh, marketers, communicators, PR professionals uh, able to use more of this data that we're all swimming in every day.